Hey, Dr. Gardner here at the Vein Institute, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Wanted to talk with you briefly about how we mark veins. Uh, this is before procedures, so we can identify the veins that we need to treat, and that way you can get the most effective treatment. So here's how we do it. We use ultrasound every day in our practice. It is an invaluable tool that basically allows us to see beneath the skin. Obviously, we can take a look at the skin. We can see what's going on as far as bulging veins, skin changes, that sort of thing. But what we can't see is what's going on beneath the skin. And that's where the ultrasound gives us additional information. It gives us the data about how big the veins are, where they are, what direction of flow things are going in. And it helps us give, basically gives us a map of what we need to treat beneath the skin. So it's a, it's a great tool and it's a way to use modern technology. Dr. Gardner here, we are marking this patient. He has extensive varicose veins. Turn back this way just for a little bit. You can see them all the way down. So we're actually gonna take our marker and we're gonna mark them. That way we can find them much easier because once he lays down, they're gonna be very difficult to see. Um, but you can see he's got these extensive veins. And if we don't mark them, we'll be kinda, of, like I said, we just won't be able to see them as well. This one comes all the way back. There's a very common one that typically runs across the Achilles here. All right, now turn back this way. So, Now this part doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to you know, keep turning around. There you go. Because what we're going to do is we're going to actually use the vein light to show us more that we can't see here. You can see this big one right here. Comes all the way up to here. we can see with him standing with gravity helping distend the veins so now we're going to fill in the gaps by using this device that will help us show anything that we missed Now we've got everything marked, we're going to do our procedure. We're going to actually thermally ablate the upper part of the vein. This is where it's actually literally stuck to the skin and we don't want to burn that because we can burn the skin. So this part we're going to address with some microphlebectomy techniques.